everyone, it's MK. So here we are, our first video installment for Pro Stitcher Sim Style. This first installment is going to be very basic and pretty short. I'm just going to take you inside of simulation. We're going to look at some of the menus, do a little bit of moving around. I'm going to show you a little bit of the functionality. We're going to create an area and I'm going to show you how I fit an item inside of that area inside of simulation. In the future, over the next several weeks, I'm going to introduce new snippets. They're not going to be full-on classes, but I want to give you enough so that you can start formulating ideas in your head. Hopefully, these things will build on one another and light bulbs will begin to come on in your head just like they did in mine. So let's go into sim on my laptop and then I'll be back to close out this session. So the first thing I want to talk to you today is about getting that simulation downloaded. If you have not yet got your simulator downloaded onto a separate device, you can check out the instructions that I posted inside of the Facebook group. Or, of course, you can always call Handy Quilter during regular business hours and you can have them just walk you right through it. Where I save my icon is down in my system tray, and that's the tray along the bottom part of your computer, if your computer looks uh, similar to mine. And I just have an icon down here that is my simulator. That's the quickest, easiest place that I have mine so that I can just click on that icon and open it. So let's do that. Okay, so we've clicked on that icon. If a box pops up on your screen that asks you, are you sure you want to open that file, you just say yes, and then your Pro Stitcher simulator will open. So there it is. All right, let's continue on. All right, here we are inside of my simulation software, which is loaded on my laptop. A couple of things that I want to point out. The first thing is I'm using a red pointer so that you can easily see what I show you inside of simulation. That's a separate program that I downloaded from the internet and we're not really going to talk about that inside of here. Just, just know that your pointer is probably not red when you open up your simulation. So when you open up your simulator, the first screen you're going to see is a screen that's very much like the one you see when you're at your Pro Stitcher tablet. All the functionality is the same, the menus are the same, all of our buttons are the same. We know that when we're at our Pro Stitcher machine, these crosshairs indicate where our needle is on our machine, right? So in simulation, this is simulating where our needle would be. If we want to move the crosshairs, obviously we know when we're at our machine, we move the machine and the crosshairs move. When you're in simulator, the way that you do that is go up here to the top hand right hand side of the screen. Right here is your sim button. If you depress that button, you'll notice it turns green. Now what you can do to move your crosshairs around is click, hold, and drag. So what I'm doing now is I'm clicking I held that down and I'm just dragging it across the screen to wherever I want it. A lot of times when I'm teaching my classes, I will just drag this off of the screen on one side or the other just so they're not obstructing what I'm teaching. But obviously there are some applications that use the, the pointer or in other words where the crosshairs are. So let's talk about one of those features right now and that's called area. We know that when we're at our Pro Stitcher, to define an area, we would go into Design, Area, and then we would use our machine to mark our area. Well, there's two ways to mark area with inside simulation. The first is to drag those crosshairs like we just did and use our two-corner or our multi-corner markers down here, these buttons. So let's say we wanted to define a two-corner area within simulation. Let's just click, hold, and drag. We'll move our crosshair up here, and we'll depress two-corner. Then we can click, hold, and drag to anywhere on the screen, and press two-corner again. 
and there's our area box. Now there's another way to define area within Simulator. Let's hit Clear. And let's just move our crosshairs out of the way so they're not obstructing our view. So the second way is just to manually create an area. So let's click on the two corner box and then under the width and the height let's just manually put in an area that we want to work with. Maybe we're working on a quilt that's 30 by 45. Well we can create an area 30 by 45. Hit enter. Now one thing that when you're working in simulator a lot of times things will be larger than your screen when you do a function. So here's a little tip and something that becomes very helpful to you when you're working in simulation or even at your machine is to click the refresh button. So right now we don't have a pattern open so refresh didn't really do anything for us. Let's just open up a pattern and I have a pattern that I recently opened. It's this stipple pattern. So now do you see when I opened that pattern, it opened the pattern, put it on the screen somewhere. If that pattern had popped up over here off the screen, or if that pattern had popped up up here off the screen, anywhere on the screen, if you could not see where that pattern was, just simply click your refresh button and you will be able to see where it is. I'm just going to go through a few steps as I fade out of this first video and I'm just going to fill in this area that we created with this pantograph and as that's happening I'm going to put some information up on the screen about how you can contact me for all my classes where you can find me online and all of those types of things. I'm going to try to put up some free content whenever I can here on my YouTube channel. I'll link it to the Facebook group and um, if you want to see something or you have questions about anything that I showed please let me know and I will try to put up the content as soon as I can. Just know that I'm a busy long armor. I long arm for customers and I teach in my studio both online and traveling sometimes. I teach classes um, but you know if you know me well if you've been following me on Facebook that I'm pretty much online um, almost all the time. So please know that you can find me online. You can email me at melissa at mkquilts.com or private message me on Facebook. Alright everybody, thanks for joining me on this really quick initial demo for simulation. Much, much more to come in the weeks and months ahead. All right, so that's the end of installment number one. Pretty short, pretty simple, pretty easy. As I was closing out that video, I thought maybe what I would do in our next installment is come back to that pantograph that I finished and show you how I might add on a border to that. I'll just give you a little snippet. We'll just add on one border and then I'll just give you a few tips and maybe that will help you to think about how you might finish out that layout and add on the rest of the borders. So that's a little bit of a sneak peek of what's to come. So thanks for joining me on this first installment. And as always, from MK and my studio to yours, happy quilting everyone. Bye-bye.